previously on Caretaker Series. Best 10. I want a detailed account, detailed, detailed breakdown of how you and your administration spent the 37 million naira. You have 48 hours. What did I say? 48 hours. After 48 hours, if I don't hear from you, you will see me in court. You have been served. Ha. By who? By me, me. For the 37 million naira you refuse to account for. My lord, case file OYHC slash 112 slash 2021. A case between Mrs. Mimi, the claimant, and Mr. Besten, the accused. My lord, both the claimant and the accused are present in court. Appearances? Respectfully, my lord. My name is Dr. Victor Ehiogo, Esquire. My appearance is for the claimant. My lord, my name is Ebubedike Apambo of Apambo Solicitors and Associates. I stand in for the accused. Thank you, my lord. What is the case stated for? My lord, the matter is stated for cross-examination of the accused. May I call up the accused, my lord? You may proceed. The accused, please. Do you wish to swear or affirm? I wish to swear. <clears throat> Thank you. Your left hand and then you raise up your right hand. You repeat after me. I. I. Your name, please. I, Mr. Bester. Do hereby swear. Do hereby swear. Before this honorable court. Before this honorable court. That everything I shall say. That everything I shall say. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. May we proceed, my lord. Proceed. Thank you, my lord. Please, would you tell this honorable court your name? And where you reside? My name is Mr. Besten, and um, I stay in our compound, the leading compound. Thank you very much. What do you do? I am the caretaker emeritus. That's what I do for a living. Yes. Mr. Besten, I would like to ask you, in what capacity do you know the complaint in this matter? Um, <clears throat> Madam Mimi here is uh, a member of our compound. And uh, she's a co-tenant in our compound, yes. What do you know about this matter? Um, actually, we had a meeting in the compound and Madam Mimi stated that I should uh, formally give a breakdown of how I spent 37 million naira that was collected as a loan from the Chinese company. And um, the, the said loan was supposed to be for the renovation of the compound, which I contracted to her to renovate the compound. So I'm saying she cannot be asking me to give her a breakdown. Rather, it should be the other way around. She's supposed to be the one giving me a breakdown of how she spent the money I gave to her to renovate the compound. And she brought the matter to court. Mr. Bestem. I would like to ask you, did you in any way embezzle this total sum of 37 million naira? Objection, my lord. I want to put it to my learned colleague that uh, this is a leading question. And leading questions are not allowed in cross-examination. Objection sustained. Thank you, my lord. You may proceed. That would be all, my lord. My lord, counsel to the claimant is done with the cross-examination. May I discharge the accused? Discharge. Please. Thank you. And my lord, 
May I proceed with cross-examination of the claimant? May I proceed. The claimant, please. Do you wish to swear or affirm? I'll swear. Okay. Your left hand on the Bible, then you lift up your right hand. Now you say after me. I. I. Your name, please. Mrs. Mimi. Do you hereby swear? Do hereby swear. Before this honorable court. Before this honorable court. That anything I shall say. That anything I shall say. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My lord, young woman, could you please tell this honorable court your name? I am Mrs. Mimi. Where do you stay? I reside in our compound. What do you do for a living? I am the national caretaker elect. Okay. What do you know about this case of 37 million naira contract? Mr. Besten took a loan of 37 million naira in the office of the national caretaker to renovate the compound and instead he squandered the money. Oh, you have superimposed yourself as the judge of this case and have found him guilty of this Objection, crime? Objection, my lord! My learned colleague here is already assuming the position of the judge and hereby passing judgment on my client. No, I never did that. On the contrary, rather it was your client that has stated categorically here before I this honorable court that my client, it was a client that you did not advise You are already well. passing judgment on my client before this honorable court. That he has passed on my client. You are already passing judgment. She was making a statement. 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 Order, 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 order. My lord. Order. Apologies, my lord. Apologies. You may proceed. Thank you, my lord. Um, young woman, has there been at any time before now, that my client, Mr. Bistern, gave you a contract of renovating the whole compound. Has there been any time like that? No, there was no time like that. I don't know anything about any contract. Jesus. <laughs> was there any time that you subletted out the job that was given to you by Mr. Bistern? to someone else to do? No, there was never a time like that. Okay. Do you know any woman by the name Eberi residing in the same compound where all of you stay? I've never heard such name. I don't know anybody named Eberi. I've never even heard that name in my life. I don't know any Eberi. Well, I... <laughs> want to make you understand the meaning of perjury, young lady. If you are found guilty of perjury in court, it's a crime of its own. My lord, I want to put it straight to this honorable court that this lady in question here does not command the local standard to even in the first place bring my client into questioning. Because she's just a caretaker elect. She has not been confirmed. She has not been sworn in. And she has not even been given any mantle to continue. And there's every tendency that her position could be challenged in a law court that has jurisdiction. So my lord, I want to put it straight to this honorable court that what we are doing here is just a legal exercise which will eventually end up in futility. My lord, at this point, I want to rest my case. My lord, Counsel to the accused is done with the cross examination. May I discharge him? Discharge. And may I, Lord, 
But we proceed to cross-examination of the witness, Miss Eber. You may proceed. Please, Miss Eber. Miss Eber, do you wish to swear or affirm? Swear. Swear. Okay. Your left hand on the Bible. Then you raise your right hand up. Now repeat after me. I. I. Your name. Eberi. Do you hereby swear? Do hereby swear. Before this honorable court. Before this honorable court. That everything I shall say. That everything I shall say. Will be the truth. Will be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My Lord. Madam, could you please tell this honorable court with competent jurisdiction your name? I'm a Barry. Where do you reside? I live in our compound. Do you know anybody by the name Madam Mimi? Yes, she's a caretaker elect. Very good. How do you know her? She lives in our compound. Has there been any form of um, business transaction that took place between the both of you in the most recent past? Yes. Could you please tell this honorable court what the transaction is all about? Besten gave her a contract to renovate the compound and she outsourced it to me. I have an evidence here that shows that what you just said now is correct. There has been a transaction between you and Madam Mimi. And uh, the contract was signed and uh, some money ex uh, extended to you for the job. Um, clerk, please, the evidence I show to you, could you please show to Madam Eberi, let her affirm if she actually signed those documents. Okay. Yes. My lord. My lord. Madam Eberi, having affirmed the fact that uh, she's aware of this document and duly signed it alongside Madam Mimi, I want to pray this honorable court to accept this document as an exhibit. It will help us in the realization of this case, my lord. This document is admitted in evidence and marked Exhibit A. As the Lord pleases! <laughs> My Lord, at this point, I want to tentatively rest my case, pending when I will be required to prove in addition to the fact that my client here is actually not guilty of any crime. Thank you, my lord. My lord, we are done with examination of the witness. May I discharge her? Discharge? Please. This honorable court has carefully listened to argument from both sides and deem it expedient for the doctrine of natural justice equity and good conscience to be upheld. In the instance case, the court needs a wider legal view on the matter, hence a five minute recess. The court will rise. Court. Chop by chop, it's not my fault. Then bring the solution while I follow and come. This now our politics, yo. our government, you know they try at all. Nigerian politics don't bond National Kiyatika National Kiyatika Hey but you didn't tell me these things now You didn't tell me that I'm not supposed to do that I should tell now. you about your own neighbor Hey very supposed to be your neighbor for God's sake How would you go ahead to deny your neighbor? See, no, I know I had to deny so many things eh? I don't know I, I'm not supposed to deny a period You have, you have really made this case more strenuous You had a good case before Can you put on that call? No, no, I want you to tell me on which side are you Kebran? Why would you support him for? I, so, I don't understand. What is the problem? No, stop pretending. Don't make me to shout in the court private. Wait, Mimi. Mimi. 
So you went in there to tell the judge that I did not give you any contract. You didn't give me any contract. Hey! Some people can lie like this. The law, you went there watching her. Tell the judge that I he, he did not give her any contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that that, that took money in the in the name of the man, that's seven million naira, and you're the court, you're supporting him. Why can't you stand? You're not present your matters very well. You are not present your matters. I give you two days. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. I give you two days. I give you two days. I give you two days. You see, because I'm moving to be fine for you, they always have mad me. What is wrong with you? But what is wrong with you two? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm going to take you for your house. I'm going to take you for your house. Let me tell you, let me keep it quiet. Azu, mind yourself, mind yourself. Not you, mind yourself, Azu. 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 Counsel to the complainant, do you have any further adumbration for the final address before this court? Judge, they stolen my iPhone in this court, though. Yes. Order. This place is not a village square. You are guarded against normal misbehavior. Else, you'll be cited for contempt of court. Counsel, you may proceed. My lord, it has been proved before this honorable court, beyond reasonable doubt, that my client here is innocent of the crime he's been alleged of. Number two, my lord, Madam Mimi here, that brought about this case, does not have the local standard like I have postulated before now to bring my client to court for any reason because she is just recently elected and is even yet to be sworn in and given the portfolio to practice as a uh, um, national caretaker. National caretaker. Yes. So she is just a national caretaker elected as I speak. Having put that, my lord, I want to plead and pray this honorable court to please strike out this case on the ground of lack of merit. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Hi. You are too much. You are too much. Hi. Counsel, anything? No, my lord. After a thorough legal consideration of the matter before this honorable court, I hereby submit that Madam Mimi, as a caretaker elect, has no legal right to sue Mr. Baystein. Therefore, I hereby dismiss this case as it lacks merit. As the court pleases, the court will rise. Court.